What's up everybody? This is Mr. Zonker's fourth personal challenge video. It is very difficult to become one of the best in the world at something. I mean, there are billions of people on this planet. How can one average human being compete? The strategy I've come up with is to choose two different things that most people are not good at and do them together. In this case, juggling and reciting digits of pi from memory. Okay, let's just take a look at some juggles. I mean, come on. Look at these guys. There is no way that I have the time or the motivation to become better than these people at juggling. What about just reciting pi by itself? Here we have the pi world ranking list. And check out how many competitors there are. This is ridiculous. In fact, looking at the number one spot, we've got my boy Suresh from India, 70,030 digits. Are you kidding me? This guy spent 17 hours and 14 minutes just reciting digits of pi from memory. I ain't got time for that. Now, if we check out the world record list combining pi and juggling, you can see much less competition. In fact, very few people would ever think of combining these two things. You may notice I actually am already on this list in the 14th spot with 103 digits memorized back in 2015. Now, when I originally did this challenge, I was in the top 10. And top 10 has quite a bit more ring to it than top 14. So, for this challenge, I will be attempting to memorize 201 digits to take out Michael Bull, no offense, nothing personal, from the ninth spot. Michael Bull, you are going down to spot 10 because I'm about to take the ninth spot by memorizing 201 digits. Will I be able to reclaim top 10 status? Time will tell. Meanwhile, let's revisit how I originally learned how to juggle and my general approach when I start trying to memorize digits of pi. I was first inspired to juggle when my mother brought home a juggling tutorial video, VHS. Now, normally this video came with these little light floaty tissue-like objects and they fell nice and slowly, they would fall through the air. Since my mother got this at the thrift shop, I had to improvise. I created my own juggling balls. What actually works great is just using sock balls. So what I did is I took my socks and I created my own juggling balls and these have the added benefit of being fairly soft uh, a little bit safer when juggling inside the house. Since I'm a little more skilled these days, I'm gonna be switching to tennis ball for my tutorial. First step, master the one ball throw, right here, all day. You gotta live right here. Once you've got that mastered, move on to two balls. Throw one up, and then as the other one's coming down, you wanna throw the second ball underneath, and then catch both balls as they fall, like so. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. The second ball you throw always goes underneath the first ball. Make sure you do both directions, starting with the right and starting with the left. Once you've got that down, you'll add in the third ball. And basically, you're gonna repeat the steps you did with two balls, except as your second ball is coming down, you will now need to throw the third ball underneath. With enough practice and perseverance, you've got three ball juggling down. Moving on to memorizing digits of pi. Here I have a string of many digits of pi. What I notice is lots of people, when they try to memorize something like this, they take what I call the brute force method, basically adding on one digit at a time. So starting with 3.1, 3.1, 3.1. Once we've got it, add on the four, 3.14. 3.14, 3.141, etc., etc., until you get as many digits as you can. Does it work? Yes, probably. Is it the most efficient? Probably not, at least not for me. What I tried to do was use a method called chunking. And basically, I take the digits of pi and I break them into smaller chunks. For example, my first chunk was 3.14159. I would memorize that chunk and then I would memorize another chunk, 
2653589. Once I've got both chunks, I would memorize and practice them together. 3.14159, 2653589. You can also make your chunks in ways that make them flow more naturally or better enable you to remember it. Let's take this chunk here for example. When I was memorizing this chunk, things my brain noticed is that it had all numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It goes 2, 5, then 3, 4, and then there are two ones that follow, 2, 1, 1. So I kind of try to visualize that, think about the trick, all the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with two ones. Then it makes it a little bit easier for me to grab from my brain, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2, 1, 1. After you memorize multiple chunks, it's a good idea to practice them all together. Eventually, when you keep running through this over and over and over again, it becomes so natural you can kind of say it without really even thinking about it. Welcome everybody, this is Joshua Zonker, and today I will be attempting to retake the top 10 spot in the world for juggling while reciting digits of pi from memory, meet our wonderful judges over here. I'm Michelle Olmsted, and I'm ready to be impressed. And I'm Carl Romer, and I, I believe in Mr. Zonker, but I'm going to be really watching these 201 numbers. Here we go. Three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine eight two one four eight zero eight six five one three two eight two three zero six six four seven. Nine three zero three eight one nine six four. Uh, he got everything. I, I'm. He got everything. Yes! It is finished! All that's left is to send in my paperwork, and within a few months, it should be official. Mr. Zonker's fourth personal challenge complete. This guy's a real deal. Show me. Can you comment on it? Very, very, very impressive. 